There's one door to it. Yeah. There's a second one to the left. This, no. Oh my god, look at this. That's a ball of shadow. It's a four. Look at the color. I know. The beautiful. Amazing. It's a way. Look at those two. Wait, wait, wait. Go for it. Shelley and I started in 2015 and we started on our own estate and we cleaned up that, that whole area. And while we were doing that, other people from other states were asking us if we could come and help them. So we decided that we would set up in a more professional way and um, that way we wouldn't look so suspicious when we're going around the estates and uh, since then we've done about four and a half thousand and it's made a huge difference to the community we're just two ordinary women and we both have lives we both have families and we both have children and grandchildren that we have to run around after and uh, we're always trying to spread ourselves so thin and uh, we love to get out and do what we do best we are a TNR group, which means we trap, neuter and return all the stray and feral cats in Kildare and surrounding areas. The cat population in my own estate was a huge problem. I was neutering and spaying cats on my own property and found out later that my neighbour, Elaine, three daughters down, was doing the same. We travel all around County Kildare and we could be in housing estates, we could be in the middle of nowhere, we could be in the back of a workplace or anything like that, you know. So we kind of, wherever we go, we do what we do. And um, it's always very interesting. Shirley and Elaine came on board as part of the KWWSPCA. They joined us and became our dedicated cat carer group. Um, and since then, they have made a huge difference to everything in relation to cats that the KWWSPCA is doing in that now if we get any calls from any member of the public regarding feral cats, kittens, um, stray cats, even lost cats, we can refer them directly to Elaine and Shirley and then they will take that call on immediately and deal with it in whatever way is necessary. Shirley and Elaine have years of experience at this, they're very very good at what they do and I think if they can bring this to other rescue groups and other SPCAs, they would benefit hugely in the way that we have benefited. Fundraising for the cats is the hardest part. We started a, in our own estate going around house to house. Um, the people were very good. Um, funding is a huge part of it. We are constantly fundraising, trying to make the money to get as many animals as we can sorted. We have an amazing relationship with our vets. We have access 24 hours a day, seven days a week to get in there with our cats and kittens and settle them, knowing that they'll be well looked after and ready for collection the following day. Each of our cats are ear tipped to be identified as neutered or spayed. So if they were ever picked up again by any other group, they would know that the cats were already cared for. We work with the KWW SPCA um, and Elaine and Shirley are, are the two main players as far as the TNR group are concerned um, and they do fantastic work and um, so they'll often work tirelessly over the weekend um, and they'll drop cats into us typically on a Monday but it could be any day of the week and um, but typically Monday morning we could have anything from maybe five to ten cats maybe even more um, and they'll be brought in in secured cages and um, we'll sedate those cats and um, we'll neuter them we'll take a small little margin off the top of their left ear which is kind of a universal sign that a cat is neutered so it means that that cat hopefully won't be caught again and put through the, the stress of that. As a vet clinic and I think all vet clinics around the country and all animal welfare charities would think it's very important to neuter cats, males and females, whether they're domestic cats or whether they're um, feral cats or semi-feral cats. Um, but I suppose in particular today we're talking about TNR which is trap neuter release and I think from that point of view it's extremely important because you know there's too many feral cats in the country um, and you know these cats when they're not neutered are I suppose left to nature's way which is to breed maybe two or three times a year 
um, which is very hard on the females. We strongly recommend neutering. Um, it also means that in an, in, in an area, so where there's a colony, if all those cats are neutered, that population will hopefully become stable and actually over time will, will, will lessen. You know, and then those neutered cats then, I suppose, are, are left to live out the remainder of their life in a, a happier, healthier way um, because they don't have to have kittens. There's less fighting and there's less new members been added, as in the kittens, so there's more food for them to go around. And I think it keeps everybody happy, so the people that mind them are, are happier because those cats will be healthier. And then the people that aren't so fond of the feral cats, they'll also know that the, you know, they're not producing as many kittens because that's, that's the big concern that more and more cats are added to an area. Neighbouring cats are less likely to come in because it's a stable population, so it's a far better approach than what some people would suggest, which is euthanizing cats, which is, you know, as vets, we don't want that, and charities don't want that. Um, so I think trap neuter release is a, is a great thing to do. And uh, on a cause point of view, you know, it, it's actually, it, it's more, it's, it, it makes more sense, it's more cost effective to neuter cats than to actually trap them and euthanize them. You know, so I think overall it's a, it's a win-win. At this point, we actually have a waiting list of people, and as we, work our way through it we're adding more to it all at a time so it, it seems that the list is never ending well i would like to thank shirley and elaine in the tnr group and uh, for their dedication and uh, the great support that they gave me and i would highly recommend it and uh, they do a great job the most rewarding part is releasing the cats back where we got them from knowing that they will live longer healthier kitten-free lives Another one now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.